everyone so I got this wig from Donnelly hair this is a you know you guys have been seeing on my Instagram for the past three weeks now and you've all been asking me questions on this so I'm gonna be styling it for you guys how I usually do it in my Instagram photos and I'm just gonna literally put some chi oil on this and then use my curling iron and that's literally it so let's go ahead and style this and then get into the review Hey guys, so I'm back with a new hair review. I just went and curled this unit by Don Millie Wigs. Um, they sent me this unit a while ago. I just didn't get a chance to review it until now. But this is the box that it came in. They sent me a few things. Um, I think this little pouch here has a wig cap. It's got a rat tail comb. It's got earrings. And it also has lashes. So I've been getting a lot of compliments on this wig on Instagram. I've been wearing this wig, honestly, a lot. So we're basically gonna get into the specs of this unit and why I like it so much. I mean, I'm gonna start off with the lace. I'm not sure if I did a great job this time, but like the lace is pretty legit as far as like the way that it blends in. I did go ahead and I bleach um, the knots on this unit beforehand. What I also like about this wig is that it definitely lays super, super, super flat. Like, I don't have to do anything. I can literally just put water on this unit and like, or at least on the top portion or like just to spray it and just comb it down. And this will lay extremely flat. Also, it takes really, really well to curls. I don't know how they did this coloring, but this is a number 30 slash 1B. So it's 1B at the top ombre, and then it's got the number 30 towards the rest of the hair. So I'm pretty sure that this is a 22 or 24 inch unit. I'm gonna get into, I mean, honestly, this seems more like a 24 inch. I'm gonna go with 24. So the price, honestly, is under $300. It's $281.94. For this wig i don't think that's a bad idea at all especially since i didn't have to pluck this unit whatsoever this looks so good like i again i've been wearing this on instagram for the past like couple weeks now and everyone's been telling me that they love this wig and i've been wearing this unit like literally every day and the way that the curls end up falling also it just it just does a really good job um just looking like it has a natural wave after you finish you know, curling it and everything kind of just drops down. Like, love it. So this is a body wave unit. So once you wet the hair and everything, it kind of has a slight wave to it. Um, but if you want like an actual wave, I would definitely just recommend curling it and then letting it just drop. The curls are gonna last you for a good week and a half. I usually wash my wigs once a week, but I wash the lace almost every day because I wear this wig every day pretty much. This is a unit that I would wear all the time. Like I, it's the perfect color. It's not too flashy. Even if it was, I think it would still be really cute. It's just, the perfect unit. Like I've been wearing it literally almost every single day that I've had this and I have nothing bad to say about it. The way that they did the ombre is really good. Like the way that the color kind of just um, complements my skin tone. I think I absolutely love it. And the shedding, there is a bit of shedding, but like this is a lot of hair. The density, it's 150%, so you're, you are getting a lot with this wig, but just look at how beautiful the curls look. Pretty sure the curls are just gonna stand out in the, in the pictures, like they usually do whenever I take photos in this wig. I just use like the Silk Infusion Chi. I got this from 2J Maxx for like 
two dollars. I barely put any hairspray in it, so this is gonna last me a while. I just didn't want the wig to be super crunchy or anything, so that's why I went ahead and I just did it like this. Oh, I sewed in an elastic band in the back, and then this is also a cap size medium. You can do small if you want. I'll insert some pictures to show you guys how this wig looks in photos and just how I've been rocking it literally in video pictures on Instagram, everything. And you guys just have been absolutely loving it. Yeah, I've just been rocking it. I'm only wearing my got to be glued on this part of the lace. And the baby hairs are awesome. Like I barely had to do anything. This is just the wig that I can throw on really quick and start my day without me having to put curls in it. So you're really pretty much good to go. I wear this wig literally all the time. So I think that Don really did a really good job with this hair. Again, you will get some shedding, but it's not to the point where you're gonna, where it's gonna be like a crazy thing. Especially, I wear this wig every day, so it makes it makes sense that there's shedding with me. And it's hot outside, and this is a very, very long unit, so I'm constantly brushing it, combing it out, all that stuff, but it's not, it doesn't get tangled very easily. Like once you put product in it, and once you like straighten it or put curls in it, you're good to go. Um, but I will say, yeah, if you are not doing all those things, then you could get some shedding and stuff but other than that it's really really good i've gotten so many dms asking me where i got this unit from and it's from don millie hair so i'm gonna go ahead and put the link to this unit down below for you guys to go ahead and check it out be sure to go ahead and see what they're all about and um that's all that i really have to say about this wig i just absolutely love it okay i really thought that i lost the recording okay but i didn't we're still good. Um, and I hope that you guys enjoy it. So yeah, all right guys, bye. Okay, hey guys, <laughs> what's up? Um, I decided to um, add this in today's hair video because I didn't really get a chance to like film anything else. I guess it's just more of like an update or whatever, um, aside from everything. I've been doing okay, I've been getting stuff done. I've already shipped my car, well not shipped my car, but I, I set my appointment to ship my car today so i will be moving really soon um hopefully we'll have everything finalized by the end of this week um and then i'll be leaving literally in less than less than three weeks at this point it's pretty much coming close to two weeks that i'm going to be gone honestly at this point so yeah i want to do stuff for universal with friends i want to see people um yeah i've been just trying to like not shut myself out and let these like experiences that I've had here so far make me feel insignificant or like unwanted or just things that I've been going through that have been making me feel like that lately and I don't want to feel that way anymore um and I feel like this move is just really gonna help me and I'm so happy that I don't have to drive all the way to Texas again like before like I would rather just fly there and make things easier on myself and plus like you know, <clears throat> as far as moving stuff, weirdly enough for some reason, if I were to just take a U-Haul and like drive back to Texas, cause I can't really drive my car cause it's kind of old. <laughs> but if I were to take it back to Texas, I feel like it would break down. So if we were to get like a hatch for it or like a towing thing for it with the U-Haul truck with that, it would be like $3,100 versus me just paying like 700 and something to ship my car with my stuff in it and then I'm good to go like that's obviously the better option plus like my plane ticket it's gonna be less than half that amount so thank goodness I can do it this way so that's what I'm gonna be doing I will take you guys along the journey with me of course um, I'm really trying my best to see friends that I haven't seen in a long time and um, <clears throat> that's what I'm gonna be doing um, yes, I'm still gonna have hair videos, but I want to say that I am starting a hair business soon. I've already started working on the website recently, but I have to buy packaging materials as well as like uh, a new mannequin head for the website as well as a new canvas head to showcase like how I'm doing the wigs for you guys and everything. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of work for the next few months, but I want to launch the website for my hair business maybe sometime in November um I will be making the investment 
maybe the end of this month or the beginning of November. So it depends. It could be launching in, towards the end of November if, I, if I'm if i giving myself uh, more than enough time to do everything because I've already started it. So I'll be working on this literally every single day until then and I'm actually really excited and I, I know that you guys randomly DM me about selling units and everything and like starting my own business and you'd be willing to buy from me and everything because like a lot of the wigs that are sold are usually not customized um, and if they are it's loosely done like I want to make sure that you guys are enjoying the unit without having to do too much to it in the beginning like not bleaching the knots you're not having to sew in your own elastic band you're not having to pluck the heck out of it or you know flatten it like I want to do all that stuff for you guys um, in advance and um, yeah, I really want to start this. I never thought that I would be making this decision to start my business this soon, but you know, moving to Texas um, is going to give me a good head start for that because I I wouldn't have been able to invest it while living here and like having all these extra expenses. Like, this is what I want to do, and I want to have my dream apartment in Texas. Like, that would be so cool to you know move to Dallas and like have a really nice apartment there and just something that I've always wanted that would fit like my lifestyle choice and everything and like I just have so many good goals set in place now that this is actually happening and I'm finally getting my inspiration back which is really cool and I'll be able to like actually start vlogging for you guys I've already like texted a few old friends that I hadn't seen in a minute in Texas so we'll be we'll, we'll be meeting up and everything like I'm not gonna be alone you guys like I still have people that I know there and all that good stuff so yeah but yeah i do i definitely do want to have like a separate announcement video on like more details like the more i'm going through starting my own business and stuff i want to have an official video for that but like i just wanted to let you guys know that this is happening and um what i'm gonna have to do basically from here on out but i've already started so that's really cool yeah so like i never thought that i would be like you know, starting a business in hair, but like I, I love wearing wigs and I love um, customizing them and I just do it literally on my free time, like all the time and everything. And it's something that I've really been getting used to. I'm not, I don't know if I'm gonna necessarily do anything with color just yet. So it's mostly gonna be focused on, you know, making the wigs look as realistic as possible, but I will definitely, um, once I get, once I get the business started, I will definitely be investing in blonde units and then you know dyeing them myself and all that good stuff but like i want to take my time so i'm gonna start simple yeah i hope you guys like it and that's my update for this hair video and i hope that you guys you know watch to this point so that you guys know what i'm doing um but yeah <laughs> okay anyways all right guys bye